So someone requested that I do a video review of the lock screen customization of high OS version 13.6. As you can see here, this is high OS 13.6 running on the Camon 20 Premiere. So how does the lock screen customization work? It's not very extensive. So the first thing you do is go into your settings and then scroll down to display and brightness and then scroll down to lock screen and here are the options available lock screen notification display right you can set it to show notification content you can show notifications but hide the content and then lastly you can refuse to show any lock screen notifications at all and that's what i have enabled here on this phone the next option you can add a text on your lock screen the next option you can show device controls for external devices from the lock screen so if for example you have a bluetooth headset connected or a bluetooth speaker you can enable this to allow the controls to show up on the lock screen and then you can now further enable this right to control external devices without unlocking the phone last option here display and overlay on the lock screen i have not figured out what that is all about yet it says no application available that's it now you can go to personalization and enable a magazine lock screen a magazine lock screen adds a carousel to your lock screen every time the phone lights up the magazine content will be shown what's the magazine content usually a quote at the bottom of an image encouraging you with one thing or the other for example if i enable this and then my lock screen changes to this and as i swipe uh, you can see a quote there is no chance no destiny no fate blah 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 you know another quote uh, for those of you who are into that uh, that's something you might enjoy. I'm disabling it. Uh, wallpapers will no longer be cycled through each time the screen lights up. Ah, that's good enough for me. Swipe left on lock screen to browse fabulous content again, if you're into that. Uh, I prefer to disable that and not have those show. Of course, after you have disabled, uh, my custom wallpaper is gone. Uh, the image you saw in the beginning and I have to reset it. But to do that, download whatever image you want to use as your lock screen wallpaper. Go into your AI gallery or into Google Photos. Open that image. Here in AI gallery, select more. Use as wallpaper. You can move it around, zoom, pinch, and all that as you want. Select apply, and then you have three options. Apply it as your home screen wallpaper, which is just for the home screen of the phone. Apply it as your lock screen wallpaper, which is what we want to do. Or you can apply it as both. So if you, if you select both, it sets this image as both the home screen and the lock screen wallpaper. In this case, I just want it as a lock screen wallpaper. So I select lock screen wallpaper, setting succeeded. If I go to the lock screen, there you go. That's that's the lock screen wallpaper. So, the lock screen customization options for iOS are not extensive. They are pretty basic. Unless I missed something, and I don't think I did, I have. Okay, well, under personalization, always on display, right? You can, you can activate an always on display for your lock screen. That's the always on display. It shows up on your lock screen. You can customize it to your taste with all these options here. I have it turned off as well because it's not something I use. Again, like I said, the lock screen customization options for iOS are pretty basic, nothing fancy. That's about it. Perhaps iOS 14 will show up with something much more extensive.